Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Rebecca. And we explore old abandoned railways, canals, and other such stuff. You join us on one such abandoned railway today, which will probably be titled something like How to Stop an Express Train, owing to the story we're going to tell. Onwards with today's video. Okay. So just back there is Ringwood and this is the Castleman Trail. We're not on the Castleman Trail today, but we need to be on the Castleman Trail to get to where we're going. Before we start the video and tell you where we're going, two important things to tell you. Number one, Rebecca's got a bit of a dodgy ankle today, so we're gonna be walking a little bit slower than normal. Um, <laughs> it's already driving you nuts. <laughs> it's not driving me nuts at all. It's all good, Rebecca. We're taking it slow. Yeah. Number two, something important to tell you at the end of the video. Make sure you stay tuned and watch the end of the video. So this line is the Castleman Corkscrew, the Southampton to Dorchester Railway. As we said, not what we're doing today. We've just come from Ringwood. Ringwood, there isn't a great deal at the station, was there? It's an industrial estate. Yeah, full there's, of buildings. That... Yeah, there's a couple of hat tips to the line with the names of the road, but yeah. that's about it. Today's subject of uh, video is, however, a line that peeled off of that, built in 1862, which is the Ringwood Christchurch and Bournemouth Railway. Now, it peeled off, Rebecca, right here. Yes. So there should be some evidence according of it. According to the map? Yeah. Now, according to the map, the 18, uh, 1900 map, there's three lines going over this bridge, but there's only two. wonder why that is. There's clearly only two. You can't get three on there. No, you can't. But it should have been right here in the hedge in front of us and curved round to the south. So there should be ahead of us as well, like a little plate there's hut. I wonder if there's any uh, evidence of that left. Ooh, swap sides. <laughs> just found the plate layers hut which was between the lines uh, right in front of us and there's a little bit of that left actually there is, it's kind of funky cut of old sleepers sleepers at the back again there's a square here of where it was and there's even a bit of brickwork there which i guess would have been the um, like little uh, what's the word i'm looking for fireplace fireplace, fireplace. <laughs> i was gonna say chimney but yeah same I'm difference <laughs> Cool, right, um, let's get off of the Castleman Corkscrew and head south toward Bournemouth. Right, so, what next up. What? What's that? Morning! So we're just trying to find our way down that big hill, despite the fact we're now walking in the opposite direction. Yeah, bit weird. A bit weird. <laughs> We, we couldn't walk on anything uh, between here, which is Matcham's view, and back up the top where we were with the actual start of the line, largely owing to the Avon Castle estate. Yes, estate, yeah. Because all very private houses, very um, exclusive kind of... Big, no public right of no way No public roads. right of way roads, exactly. So we, didn't, we avoided that completely. We don't want to carry a camera around there. But that whole estate is quite integral to today's story. So we'll come to that in a minute when we do find the track bed that we're looking for. How's your ankle, Rebecca? Hurty. So when this line was opened in 1862, part of the 1859 Act had some very particular specifics in it. Now all the land here was owned by Lord Malmesbury. He didn't really care much for the railway, I think he was a bit indifferent, fine, crack on, but he did have two stations opened as part of those specifics in the Act. Hearn, which we'll come to shortly, and uh, Avon Lodge Holt. Avon Lodge Holt, and it gave the staff for his lodge a place to get on and off train, which was all good. Um, I read in the comments last week, and someone said, I'm extremely lucky to have you as my wife. 
People like, assume that you come out to keep me company. I just follow you and around. And you just follow me around, don't they? They really and I don't really care and I'm not really interested. Yeah. And we <laughs> not the case. We always want to try and make the point that actually, you know what, we do this as a couple. We enjoy getting out and about and exploring places, learning a lot about the history side of things. And yeah, my interest is more the railways. Rebecca's is more the social history, like the genealogy aspect. Hmm. So we do like this as a couple, people. Don't exactly. panic. Don't and panic. How can you not like where we're at right now? It's yeah. really lovely. So just down here, and I mean down here, is uh, again what I assume is the cutting for the railway. We're going to try and pick it up a bit further south towards Hearn. Lord Malmesbury decided in 1870, only sort of eight years after the railway had opened, that he was going to sell all of that land there. And he sold it to the Turner family, or the Turner and Turner family. And they, however, did care very much about the railway and they cared about the specifics of the Act 1859 because in that Act it suggested you could hold up a red flag or red lamp at Avon Lodge Holt and stop any ordinary train. So they put that in place. Now, by this time, express trains were a thing. Mm -hmm. They obviously, express train does what it says on the tin and they started as far as we're aware to hold up red flags and red lamps and stop express trains or at least attempt to. Now, not very express. Not very express if you had to stop at every given halt uh, according to the act. So of course a court battle ensued. Right, so next up uh, we've got... Oh, oh, Don. Um, Oh God, what's he doing? I don't know. Let's just get a bit. Found it. Found what? Trap bed. Oh. I mean, it's like the first oh. time we first time we found it. There's there. Okay. And yeah, okay, we found the cutting and that, but this is like the first time we've actually been able to um, kind of walk along it. I guess was the right word. So Turner and Turner, let's get back to the court case, Rebecca. Oh, go on then. What do you think is going to happen? What are we, where are we going with this? I've read the spoilers, so I know what's happening. You read the spoilers. I read the spoilers. I know what. I know so what I'm happened. It's all going to kick off in a big fight. It's all going to kick off. Now, Turner and Turner, I think they're pretty unreasonable, frankly, because they want to ex stop express trains. Now, it's not like they've they got. They want to stop any train they fancy, really. Yeah, basically, yeah. Now, the court basically ruled and said, "You idiots," to a degree. <laughs> it's an express train and therefore it's not an ordinary train. Mm -hmm. If it was an ordinary train, you could stop it, but obviously you can't get a grip. So they lost the court battle. And I know it's 1870, so railways have been around in a passenger sense for 30 years or so, but it's still interesting to see how they handled things like express trains and that and how it all developed over the years and people's court battles. And I guess these are the sort of court battles that last to today. Yeah. And they're still quoted as today often is the case isn't it Precedent, um, as it were yeah absolutely yeah so it would be turner and turner versus uh london southwestern railway i wonder if that is a case well, it could be of course it is yeah it happened wow so just just about there is railway cottages. Now, if you look on the OS map, the pathway goes to there and then down on the main road, towards the main road, towards Hearn Station. Mm -hmm. Now, we just met the, I assume, what the owners of the house there, and they said, yeah, oh no, no, no longer a path here. No, well, that, that, that's not a thing, is it? No. No longer a path here. It's on OS map. She said, oh no, the path, it's all changed, it's all changed, so you can't, can't go down here. Um, so we're left to try and find a way south unable now to walk on the track bed you used to be able to walk on the track bed and end up at Hearn station which we can't so we'll try and find Hearn because it's got quite a treat and don't forget there's also a treat at the end of the video it's not Ooh, a treat yeah. at the end of the video it's kind of a thing at the end of a video yeah, which a we do want favour and ask so stick around don't yeah. go anywhere right we found Hearn mm -hmm. now we know it's Hearn because they've got a lovely coach in the car park of the pub it's now a pub called the Avon Causeway, yep. which makes sense. Lovely. Now, we came in from the south, not the north, because as we said, the north pathway seems to have been blocked. So we're gonna turn this into a mini mission to find out why that public right of way has been blocked, because I feel very strongly about that sort of thing. Uh, it shouldn't be blocked. Nope. 
to so, be fair if you've been on his twitter or you've um, seen him in previous videos we do have a bit of a public right of way thing going on yeah, as you should <laughs> sometimes right so beautiful hern in front of us there bit having a bit of renovation work done to it so all good i'm sure mm -hmm. big tick for us we've got one more station to do down at christchurch let's go have a look at this pathway okay go on then. right so as we suspect as we suspect what can i say suspected, suspected. <laughs> as we um suspected Someone has just put a massive fence there, yep. as if it's their garden. Well, it's not. All that there in front of those houses is open access land, and it has a public right of way for it too. So, two things combined have been completely ignored. I wonder how you got away with that. So, let's do some digging. Now, we are going to finish our this part of the journey before the treat as we head toward Christchurch, which is just down the road from here, not far away at all. Now, Christchurch original lasted for about 20 years en route to Bournemouth. Now, the reason it was overtaken by Christchurch, as is today, well, in the late 1800s, they discovered beaches, the Victorians discovered the seaside, and therefore a new line was put in across the south uh, from Brockenhurst. It saved a lot of time, and it meant that this line didn't need to be used. So after all those legal wranglings, um, it turned out they weren't really going to use the line anyway and this line pretty much ceased to exist after the 1930s. So that was the Ringwood Christchurch and Bournemouth Railway. Thank you for joining us today. You may have noticed we were being a little bit trolled by Santa. Good reason for that. You may remember we last year did a charity run or we did a Santa run but we couldn't raise money for charity. This year we can raise money for charity so we're doing it again. We're towing Santa around our local town. Who are we raising money for Santa? The Countess of Brecknock Hospice. Right, so if you're feeling fruity and you fancy uh, helping us out and donating to our calls, then click on the links. Where are the links, Rebecca? They're in the doobly-doo below in and the, doob the pinned comment. Yes, so but if you're feeling fruity, help us out and donate to our local uh, charity. Obviously, that's not an obligation, but we'd appreciate it if you, if you fancy doing that. Why not? Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks for watching. As ever, folks, big thanks to Santa for joining us today in various capacities. I'm not sure they were completely wholesome, but good fun nonetheless. <laughs> we'll see you next week.